Hey, what's up? So yeah, today I'm going to show you how to play PC VR games from the Oculus or Steam store on your Quest 2. And trust me, this is a super simple process that doesn't take that long. And uh, this is definitely one of the most awesome features that you can use on your standalone VR headset. I mean, after this video, you will be able to dive into games such as uh, Half-Life Alyx, Star Wars uh, Squadrons, Vertigo, Medal of Honor, Lone Echo, Boneworks and many many other titles that you would never be able to run natively on a Oculus Quest 2. We call this uh, feature Oculus Link by the way because what you basically do is you uh, link your headset to your PC and play games that way. Anyways, what you need uh, for this setup are three things. One, a powerful gaming PC or laptop. Two, a USB-C cable, and uh, three, software from Oculus. First up, you want to make sure that this computer slash laptop you want to use is VR ready and compatible with Oculus Link. In this case, a decent GPU and a CPU are an absolute must. If you're not sure if it's fast enough, then I would like to invite you to do the Steam VR performance test to see if you have what it takes. It will give you all the info you need on what's working fine and what you potentially have to upgrade. Next to that, you also want to visit the website of Oculus and take a look at the list of hardware that works best with Link. Okay, moving on to the cable that you are going to connect to your computer. You have two options here. You can buy the expensive fiber cable from Oculus or you can decide to buy a cheaper third party cable from for example Amazon. It's totally up to you. You just want to make sure that the cable you purchase can handle high speed connections. It is also mandatory that it's USB-C to USB-C or USB-C to USB-A, depending on what GPU or CPU you have. Most modern graphics cards and the motherboards should have an entry for USB-C cable, so most of the time you're going to buy a USB-C to USB-C anyways. And then third is the software, yes, that in the end will make the magic happen. You should be able to install this in less than five minutes, it's very straightforward. And oh, the links to the performance test, the cables I recommend and the Oculus PC app can be found in the description of this video. Thank me later. When you have that all sorted, you can finally start setting things up. So turn on your headset, hook it up to the computer with the cable you got and launch the software. On the left side of the Oculus app, you want to go to devices and click on add headset. From there, select the Oculus Quest 2 and hit continue. Since you connected the cable to your PC already, you just have to wait until it found your headset and then again click on continue. The software will now give you the opportunity to test your cable connection and this is something you definitely want to do the first time you use Oculus Link. Next time you can of course skip this as you already know the cable works fine. With that, the setup is complete. If you go back to devices now, your Oculus Quest 2 should appear. And when all the lights are green, you are ready to go. Congratulations! So when you now strap on the Quest, a message will pop up asking you for permission to enable Oculus Link. If this doesn't show up, don't worry, you can manually activate this as well. In that case, go to Settings, Device and scroll down until you see Enable Oculus Link. After you have given access, you will be transported to the VR version of the Oculus app. From here, you can connect with friends, watch movies and play the latest PC games in glorious VR, including the exclusive ones. It's amazing how well this works. If your computer or laptop is powerful enough, it will run smooth on even the highest settings and will give you the illusion that what you play runs natively on your headset. But what about playing games from Steam? Well, that's a good question. You want to first download Steam through the browser to get started. And when you successfully installed it, you want to go to its store and search for Steam VR. Download the software and make sure you create a shortcut to your desktop because uh, you will need this later down the road. Then hop back into the Quest because you want to prepare the Oculus app for the arrival of Steam VR by 
first allowing all the unknown sources to be shown inside your library. According to Facebook, Steam is one of those sources and that's why you want to flip the switch. To get SteamVR running on your Quest 2, you should go to the little menu on the bottom and click on Virtual Desktop. This allows you to take control over your monitor and launch the SteamVR shortcut. When you booted it up, it will automatically take things over. And a couple of seconds later, you get teleported to the SteamVR menu. Again, performance wise, it works fantastically. A true pleasure for the eyes, I would say. Oculus Link is a feature that gives you the best of both worlds as it turns your Quest into a hybrid that not only plays mobile games but also PC VR titles. Next to this feature there are also other methods out there that allow you to for example do all of this wirelessly. But if your internet connection isn't that fast and not that stable then this is a nice solution for in between. Before I go I, uh, I do want to highlight some known issues that you can get with Oculus Link. The first one is performance. When you experience frame drops during your play sessions, then it might be smart to first lowering the visuals in game. If that doesn't help, you can try to change your graphics preference by heading over to the Oculus app on desktop. You have a couple of settings there that you can play around with and see if it improves your experience. Another classic issue is that your Quest 2 doesn't turn green, but instead is red and tells you that it has no headset audio. A lot of people seem to be bumping into this problem the first time they use this feature. If you do not hear anything or your microphone doesn't seem to work at all, then this is how you fix it. Listen up. You want to navigate to your control panel. In there, click on hardware and sound. Under sound, find manage your audio devices and then you want to check if the Oculus headphones are selected in playback and that the Oculus microphone is selected in recording as the default source. It's good to know that you can find uh, most of these answers that I just uh, gave you on the troubleshooting page of Oculus. A link to that can be found in the description as well. And there you go, that's Oculus Link in a nutshell. If this video was useful, then be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, then maybe do so, because I will be uploading many more videos about the Quest 2. Last but not least, if you are running into issues, then I would recommend you uh, contacting the Oculus support, as they know the most about the Link software, the cables, and the process. So so yes, uh, if you need more help, then that's where you want to go. I'm just not the tech support you're looking for, sadly. I know the basics, but that's about it. So I want to thank you so much for watching. Now it's time for me to, well, sign off. And as I always say, and I see you all next time. See you in the metaverse. Bye-bye.